Hey everybody, Korkan Nala here, and we're going to be talking about uh, the movie The Man Who Knew Infinity. So me and my dad saw this, we got it on uh, Netflix DVD the other day, and uh, it was directed and written by Matt Brown, who hasn't really done very much, so I was kind of surprised. Uh, he did a movie called Rope Walk, and that was about it. This is his second directing movie. Uh, he also wrote Rope Walk, uh, Rope Walk screenplay. And uh, this one is based off of the biography written by Robert uh, Kangle, Canigal. And it stars Dev Patel as Res, Re, S. Ramanujan, who was a mathematician in the early 1900s. And uh, Jeremy Irons plays the mathematician Hardy. And they, um, they end up getting together and working on Ramanujan's... Uh, equations that he had come up with while he lived in India. So the idea of the movie, it's more of a biopic of a dr dramatized biopic of Ramanujan and the idea of this guy that grew up poor in South India. He spoke Tamil and he would write with rocks on stone his equations. He Math was just always in his head. He had to get it out. And he wrote... Uh, like two novel-sized books of different equations that just came to him. But he never had any proofs of those equations. It was more of just he could see it, the solution, but didn't have the leading up to proving how he got there. So he gets the attention of Jeremy Irons' character, Hardy, in England, and Hardy brings him over to the college, Trinity, in England, and they start trying to work on the proofs. But uh, Ramanujan doesn't, under, doesn't understand why people can't just publish his works without the proof. And back then, in the early 1900s, that was the way it was. You didn't have to, you, you had to be able to prove your equations to publish them. Now, later on, we have people like Einstein that he released a lot of novels of his theories like the theory of relativity and they didn't have proofs so it was more of the this is what I think it would be and then we try to prove it later on and it took decades for them to prove Einstein's theory of relativity and there's some things that didn't even get proved until a hundred years later along with Ramanujan some of his stuff didn't get proved and still is getting proved but he had a very short life, was only able to prove a couple of things, and so he has a mass amounts of equations that still need to be proven. So it was, it was very important during that time period because it was a transition between having to prove your work and being able to publish theories. And I found that really interesting. I liked that aspect, and it took place right before World War I and uh, everything that was going on during that. Uh, as a whole, as a drama, I thought it was a great movie. Very well written, easy, to, you know, very easy to follow. Uh, a little over-dramatized at some parts, but not distractingly. Um, I was just like, okay, that's just a tad too much. I would have, if I was directing, asked them to t tone it down just a little bit on the, that, the drama for some of those scenes. And, uh, but I thought the pacing was really good, except some of the scenes went on a little longer than they should have for timing aspect, where I was, when I'm watching a scene, I'm like, okay, I get it, it's time to move on to the next sequence, and I was just waiting for them to jump to the next part. But for the pacing of the entire film, I thought it worked well. And I love the way it was shot, very much of a straightforward drama. Uh, a lot of straight on uh, in picture kind of framing. There were some interesting angles that they did for transition shots of like walking through the courtyard or going to a class or going to a, a office or going to a meeting, that kind of thing. They had some interesting camera shots for those, but Again, nothing way over the top, just a nice, cool way of doing a transition that was interesting to watch because there's no dialogue. So I did like that. I liked the uh, crispness of the 
you know, not very many filters, more of a, a clean, overall realistic look. And I love period pieces. And so seeing all the stuff in the background was really cool. Like, and little things that you don't really consider or think about, like the fact that he didn't have access to paper because paper was really expensive in the early 1900s in India. And when he did get paper, it didn't look like, you know, the three ring binder lined paper that everybody uses in school today. You know, it was a very rough outline, thick paper. And uh, I liked that, those little touches that they did to make the, the props and everything in the background look authentic for the early 1900s, 1910 era. Uh, I also loved seeing Stephen Fry and Toby Jones. They didn't have large characters. Toby Jones had a larger character. But their interactions with the other characters were great. I love seeing them on film. I, I love watching them both in whatever they do. But they were great little additions that added to the movie for their characters more than I think other actors would have done. If you had just put in an actor that no one knew, I think it added a gravitas or um, much better acting for those smaller characters to have Stephen Fry and Toby Jones in there. So I was very happy to see that. A great selection especially Toby Jones. I thought he was uh, I thought he was great as Hardy's friend uh, Littlewood. And overall, I loved the movie. I thought it was great. Uh, like I said, I had some problem with the uh, the timing and pacing of certain scenes. I thought some of the stuff was over dramatized. However, you know, doing just a, a straight biopic, it would be a documentary. It wouldn't be a drama. So you got to have dramatization in there or it would just be a documentary. Uh, but I would give it probably an, an 8 out of 10. It goes along the same lines as like A Beautiful Mind, which I would put around the same. Um, different mathematicians, different eras. I would have liked to have seen more of the math. There were only a couple of scenes where they talked about the equations and the impact of those equations. It was more the growth in the story of Ramanujan and Hardy which was great. I loved that story, but being a science and math nerd, I would have liked to have delved more into the math of what they were doing and the impact of what those equations have had on history. I don't think they they showed enough of the impact that it was. It was just more kind of inferred in the background that it was important, but they didn't really talk about why it was that important they, they briefly like kind of brushed on it or touched on it so I would have liked more information on that but overall I thought it was a great movie me and dad both loved it 8 out of 10 so comment below and let me know what you guys thought of the movie uh, did you like De Dev Appel sorry Dev Patel as uh, Ramanujan I thought he was great um Every time I see him, though, I keep thinking of Avatar The Last Airbender, which is really bad because it's a horrible movie, and it is not his fault. You know, it's uh, M. Night Shyamalan's fault. But, I don't know, it was one of the first movies I've seen him in, so every time I see his face, I go straight back to that movie. Hopefully now that I've seen him in a great movie... When I see him again in the future, I will think of The Man Who Knew Infinity instead of Avatar. So thank you, Dev, for doing this movie. I loved it. And you did a great job. Um, especially your wife. Who was the actress that played your wife? I can't remember. Anyway, awesome jobs for both of you. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie. What did a uh, guy get right? What did I get wrong? Uh, would you have liked to have seen more math or do when every time you hear a number it just goes right over your head and you you zone out <laughs> Also, you can check out my patreon my uh, Social media links the mailbox that you can mail me stuff is all down in the description box below And also I am selling shirts now if you can go to my shop and check out shirts and hoodies for male and female and it has the 
it just says on there, Korakan Nala said I'm awesome. Because if you buy a shirt and you support the channel and you are a subscriber, you're automatically awesome. At least I think so. And that's why it says Korakan Nala said I'm awesome. <laughs> And if you have other ideas for other t-shirts that you would like, put that in the description box below. Tell me what you would like. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.